Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Sebo TV. I'm misled. With me is Dust Moret, and we are bringing you a map number one between Follow Esports and Sponsorless in your Sebo Season 8 MLG Pro League. We're about to get underway on cash here. We're going to have uh, Follow Esports as your CT sided team, and Sponsorless will be your T sided team. And uh, we're about to get underway here with Follow Esports looking like they're gearing up towards that uh, A bomb site right now, Dust. Yeah, Sponsors is about to just explode out of the door here, and they will begin working inside the site, but so far, Effie putting up a decent defense here. Wabbit really coming up huge at the quad with a couple of kills already, but Sponsorless is making their way in with the bomb onto Daps. Does win the kill he needs to get, and he might get this plant. Or not, never oh. mind. Holy cow. That did not work out, did it? No, Ape it did coming not. up big on the highway right there, able to collect the final two frags of that round, shutting it down in favor of Spon or Follow Esports. Good opening round for them to prevent Sponsorless from being able to gain some traction there. Not able to get a bomb plant, but of course, Sponsorless kind of in typical elevate liquid mix fashion here. We're gonna have uh we're gonna have a buyout coming out from these guys a little bit more towards the elevate side of things. So gonna be armor pistol coming into round at number two, trying to prevent uh follow esports from gaining any more traction than they already have. Yeah, of course. I mean, this is just what you expect when the bomb plant doesn't happen. Terrace are going to go ahead and buy out what they can, second round to see if they can't have an impact. And Shazam does have that scout, and we know those Tech Nines can be uh, very effective, especially if you can close the distance on this A bomb site quickly, which seems like that's what they want to do. They're putting a couple players in that squeaky door to try to push into quad. Now, FE, you know, curiously enough, is not playing A at all, really. I mean, they're playing kind of a retake setup. Live I guess, has some eyes on it from Balcony, but there's no one actually in the site or quad, so this could lead to a bomb plan for Sponsorless. Trying to work their way into that A-bomb site at the moment. Let's see if they can make anything happen here. Remember, Pistol Armor Buy coming out from Sponsorless. Trying to get in. They have earned their way into it with some good smokes here. It's going to be Follow Esports trying to play the retake attempt. And uh, not really getting too aggressive. They know there's a scout on the board now, so they know they have to assume. Oh, wow. Good hit coming out right there. I think it should be Hades going all the way down to 30, 30 HP. It's the damn trying to put another one. Can't get up close. Rabbit takes him down. They're going to push their way into the site. And that's actually Els who grabs one, but Ricks and Rush are in the argument. Now only Dab's alive, and he finally goes down at the end of it. So sponsorless for putting all that money into that round. They didn't come away empty-handed. They got a bomb plant. They right. got a little cash in their favor. But still, you would uh, you would like to work that in down to a like a one-on-one -on -one in that situation. Force a little bit more rebuys that I follow esports. Uh, but you're still helping control their economy, so you can't right. consider it just a total wash. Yeah, I mean, that was definitely a, a, a decent effort there for sponsors to get the bomb plant, no doubt about that. Also, you could tell Follow Esports kind of just understanding the meta of the map. It's so common to see people rush at A-bomb site with those tech nine second rounds, so rather than even contest and worry about that, Follow Esports plays a retake setup. Yeah, sure, it concedes the bomb plant, which kind of stinks, but at the same time, you're, you're ensuring that you're going to win the round and not get caught up with those tech nines, and so I think that was a smart move by FE to play that retake setup, and now Sponsorless on the third round, being real conservative. They got that bomb plant last round. They're just wanting to bank it up for the full buy next round. Will, once again, just rush into an empty A-bomb site. It's, again, that retake setup from FE. Wonder if that's going to flow into the gun rounds as well. I'll be curious to see if they change things up. They get a bomb plan nonetheless again. So guaranteed that next round we will see a full buy round coming out from Sponsorless. They get another bomb plan. It will be a five-man retake attempt once again. And it uh, looks like uh, Follow Esports is ready for this. I mean, they're picking up the frags. They got good smokes coming into the bomb site. Only dropping a player so far. And that is going to be Hades who goes down. The only one, Wabbit picks up two. The rest of the frags go between Hades, Statutory Ape, and Ocean. But that will be a third round in favor of all OE Sports, but a good retake from them. So they're playing very passive into those uh, anti-eco rounds at the A-bomb site, and it's worked out. So yeah, definitely. wrong with that. I'm curious to see if they're going to keep that up, if that's going to be kind of just how they want to play the CT side. I mean, there are definitely some teams that like to do that, like particularly Mouse Sports is a team known yep. in Europe that will, will do that that retake A setup quite a lot. But they now do have an op in Wabbit's hands, which can be used as a site anchor type weapon. And it seems like Wabbit is, in fact, moving towards that A bomb site. So uh, we could see him kind of maybe putting a bit more of a presence on the site. What is. Oh, okay, they're, they're lining up Run the runners, yeah. but they messed and it they up pretty failed. bad. Yeah, they that was pretty, pretty rough. Yeah, Wabbit is not going backwards, but it's going to be an A side take attempt coming out. Gets both come out, and Hades gets caught from the back of Quad. Rush and Nafli picking up good frags here, and this is a, a map that we've seen the Nafli pick up huge amounts of frags on coming out of that squeaky room. Let's see if he's able to do it tonight again. 
They already have themselves worked all the way down to a four on three. Els is in the sight at the fourth lip, just waiting for teammates to get up close for them to try and make this retake attempt happen. So they have to look out. They smoked out A main, so Shazam effectively useless with the off in his hands. And Rick's on a huge flank right there. Able to pick up two frags. Daps will close that thing down, and that's going to be three to one. Sponsorless will pick themselves up the initial buy round against Follow Esports. Yeah, and you got to wonder if that failed boost there from Follow Esports really came back to haunt them. Just not because they missed, it, like, oh, well, big deal. Like, you can still sit up in positions and still defend A without the boost, don't get me wrong. But it just felt like Wabbit wasn't really in the position he wanted to be with that op. Like, he kind of got stuck in an awkward spot in the site that he wasn't expecting to have to play, and he got caught out real bad for it. Probably Sports forcing out what they can still this round. We do see Elf actually getting really aggressive up here on the mid-garage, and Wabbit has found a kill with that scout uh, as well. So... Not bad. Ricks did trade it out, but you know, Effy at least doing some damage Ooh, and trying to get it and gets uh, it nice. Oh, okay, uh, Ricks traded it out. That's fast. good. Yeah, good, good aggressiveness coming out from Els. We have Ocean trying to find that frag, but Ricks so very low, can't take him down. 12 HP, able to survive that exchange. That makes it an even three on three now into round at number five. Sponsorless trying to string together two rounds in their favor, but Hades finds the back of one again steps out and he's not able to take down daps he had the advantage he had the angle in his favor he just could not wrangle in that silence m4 to get the shot so we have a two on two now bomb getting planted in the a bomb site ricks is going to rotate around through a main gotta be a little quick here though as shazam's kind of out on an island by himself but shazam with the fast flick shot gets one ocean right in his face all he has to do is hold on and wait for ricks to peek the angle and ricks is peeking it now but already ocean's on top of him and shazam misses it but ricks will trade the frag out gets himself a 3k and that is going to be three to two now in favor of follow esports yeah, I mean, well done there from Sponsorless again. I mean, you kind of saw how the, the exchanges went at mid. It was pretty even, which is usually going to favor your Terrace, but it's also big that Rix was able to get out of there with low HP and stay alive, and a good mid-round adjustment from Sponsorless to, to call the A hit after what took place, knowing that A was going to be pretty weak after the mid-exchange. Uh, and they come up with another round and actually force Fallow Esports onto pretty much a full save. We do see some P250s being bought out, but nonetheless, it is... You know, going to be a good round for sponsors here with the advantage yep. of the firepower. B bomb side stack here from Fallout Esports. Getting a little bit aggressive with it too, so they may get the information on what's going on here pretty soon and actually have a pretty quick flank even coming in as well. So there's still something that sponsors has to worry about. So the sponsor is trying to worry Whoa, about did rush? aggressiveness, and he just slipped absolutely all the way through. I mean, that's actually okay. 80s who slipped all the way through. And, uh, no, okay, yeah, Rix does and, know. Okay. No, yeah. Rix has picked it up, but no frag coming out yet. Sponsorless trying to grab one. That's going to be Daps down in mid, who gets uh, the frag onto Rabbit right there. Looking for another one. They got to be careful trying to hold it down. He will be able to take down Statutory Ape as they earn their way into that A bomb site. So the only one left now will be Hades. And Hades will get picked up by Rix, who is ready for him to flank through uh, all the way through T spawn. So we're going to be three. Yeah. To three round wise now as we hit round seven. Yeah, there's really not much to say there. I mean, it was a safe round for Follow You Sports. They, they kind of just gambled, which is what's required of you in a situation like that to just gamble and hope for the best. And they tried to do a little bit of a flanking maneuver at B, but it just got it got red. It got picked up on, and so it didn't really have any impact. But they're going to be back to a full by this round. There is no op this, however. Uh, and with that said, it seems like they're going. Uh, I guess a bit more center. Hayes is actually playing inside the A-bomb site. They're not going to give it up this time, but still a lot more focus on mid and aggressive beat. And they do get the opening pick that is Daps already down, but mid control has been conceived. The sponsors as Rush does slip up the highway. Rush trying to find a shot from Headshot. Not able to grab anything out of it yet. Good grenade goes on to Ocean. Uh, could have been better. Only brings it down to 63 HP. So we're going to be 5 on 4 in favor of follow esports. Look at Statutory Ape. Look how pushed he is out mid. Sees the first oh, shot. Doesn't oh. hit. That rush actually takes him down. But Els is right there to trade the frag out. He's got to find Ricks. He's so very low and partially blind. He will go down that fly. Can he hero this round in the A bomb site once again like he always has been able to? Gonna try and jump up. Nope, knows there's one in sight. Tries to spray through the smoke. Doesn't collect anything yet. We're two on three. Shazam pulls out the Tech-9, able to take down Hades. That makes it a two on two, but Ocean already pushed up at the white truck. We'll find a frag. So now we're all up to Navfly here. Bomb down oh. out in middle. CTs have control of it. 
It's gonna be tough yeah. for him to get, and uh, Ocean actually peeks out, so he knows where one is. Just gotta be able to find the other player. If he can get this one on two, that would be gigantic for sponsorless. Otherwise, we're gonna have a. Uh, we're gonna have Follow Esports finally stopping the hemorrhaging here, and Naflife, great pop flash comes out, pushes his way out, able to get the bomb. Uh, not yet. Now he grabs it. He knows one's in mid. He knows actually one's in mid on each side of him. He's just trying to find the frag if he's able to. And time running out, so he just has to save here. And uh, Ocean goes on the peak. Does he take him down? No. Ocean prevents him from being able to save that AK. And that will be Follow Esports picking up a round after a three round deficit. Yeah, I mean, Follow Esports is doing a good job there. I mean, getting that double flank in on B, yeah, of course, the first player on the flank failed. Uh, we did see him get caught, but Alice was able to find the two key frags, plus getting the bomb down. That was the big player of the round that kind of secured for Follow Esports. Just kind of realizing that on their default, Spontos isn't really committing any vision to B. So that's two rounds in a row they've been able to just play through the B lobby without being spotted. Uh, and, and that time around, they actually have the gun to be able to make the play with it. Uh, and so they do retain the lead here, four to three. We are going to see Sponsorless just a, a lot more default this time, a lot more slow paced. They got one in the door, they got one B, they got yep. three towards the mid and A lobby. This is your very typical just default T side cash setup here, uh, and they're just going to see if they can't work some picks. They got Vince with some Molotov, uh, and now they're just going to kind of you know work the picks a little bit. Might try to find them here at the door. Maybe you see Shazam go for an op pick here. Uh, but they're just gonna put this much slower and, and much more disciplined. Like they're keeping their eyes on everything this time around. They're not gonna let anything surprise them. Yep. Sponsor is trying to hold on into this. I mean, they had three rounds in a row. Finally, follow esports will reset them or at least reset their economy. So now we have a sponsor list trying to get uh, trying to get that reset done onto them. And if you take a peek at the economy, guys, what we're gonna see here coming out, uh, follow esports had a huge deficit. I mean, they they have that one round advantage, but they're fully bought out into this thing. Sponsorless does have the entry frag in their favor. That's going to be Wabbit who goes down, so op out of the way. And the rest of the buy coming out from Follow Esports is not the greatest, and they're trying to work this into B. And it's going to be Statutory Ape trying to hold on, gets one before the Molotov from Riggs takes him down, and Riggs is able to find himself a second one. He's in a plant neutral location. That will be a big plant in favor of the uh the checkered room so it will be a four on two with hate oh, oh man oceans catches that grenade from behind hades is going to go on to the save so sponsorless will reset follow esports get themselves that even up four on four and that's just sponsorless has been able to continuously get this mid control i mean even if they lose a number in the process they're always able to eventually get it and force follow esports just to play passive inside the ct connector or just kind of spot it uh from a like through highway or something and, and with that mid control they've used it successfully several times now the split sites that time it was a v split uh and it was very very effective there uh and so that's something that follow esports need to figure out a counter to that either you just gotta be able to defend the sites better uh, or you need to contest that mid better. And no whether save that, comes out. Yeah, yeah. so whether that be a 1-3-1 one, one setup or something like that, and it's, it's anchoring the sites with one player each and really putting some emphasis with three players mid to hold sponsorless off, that could be an option. Uh, but on their next gun round, obviously this is a full state, so they can't do much at all. But on their next gun round, they definitely need to, to start making some adjustments here on the CT side because things aren't working out lately. All right, so what is your remedy going in? Well, of course you're not going to have much of a remedy going into an eco round, Dust. I what guess is I think the, the remedy one on a gun round? It's going to be a one through one? I think so. That's what I would and, do. And we are putting the three where? Mid. Mid. We're going to force three into mid. We're going to force aggressiveness out of that if we follow esports. And uh, let's see if they able. Ooh, man, L's trying to pick up Rush, but Rush finally goes down. But here comes Rix, his teammate coming in. So Hades will be able to grab the gun. And Rix just trying to spray, gets away from it initially with the pistol, but Hades does pick up the AK, rotates his way around. Bomb down in a great location for a follow esports until Hades is forced into the last man standing. He's going to be one I have to here. say, though, That's this a good round got way closer than it should have been. <laughs> yeah, the fact yeah, that Hades yeah. even has a chance at this is crazy. That's a really good eco round coming out from uh, from follow esports thanks to Hades picking up two frags, Wabbit picking up the initial one to open that thing up for him. So Hades, can he take that Shazam? Looking for Napfly at the top of highway, can't get him. Sponsorless will bring themselves ahead here, make that a one round in favor of their advantage. That'll be five to four sponsorless. Yeah, money still really stinks for follow esports. So it even feels like they might have to do some type of double save here. 
Obviously, they say the last round. Yeah, you'll see them just get some upgraded pistols just to CZ and Ape. And uh, maybe they even go for a double op setup. It's something that can be effective on cash. They do have two people who can tote the op between Wabbit and Hades. Uh, and so that could be another option as well. We were kind of talking about what's the remedy here because their CP side's really been slacking because the rifle round started. And I think it's either the 1 3 1 aggressive setup with rifles in mid or the double op. And what is happening right now? Am I. Okay, what the heck was that? What is this? How did they not see Rick? Wow. I guess they were blinder than I thought. Uh, I don't know, man. That wow. is a rough look right there. The Statutory Ape building the bombs. They're trying to fight it out. He'll get one. Trying to fight for another. Put the Molotov right at his feet. He'll end up going down. And Sponsorless will pick themselves up another gun round against an echoing follow eSports. That'll make it 6-4 to four in favor of Sponsorless now. Yeah, I was so confused what happened there. Like I said, someone must have been more blind than I thought they were because the, <laughs> Rick seemed to be like out in the open forever with, with no one noticing him. And, of course, it was a save round for Follow you Sports. So, again, kind of expected them to lose it. But that was definitely real awkward there in A main. But now we have Follow you Sports fully decked out. They have the op back in Wabbit's hands. He'll be anchoring B with it. And, yeah, they're playing, I guess, kind of a 1-3-1. One, one. Elves is a bit more towards the A bomb site. And they have already backed off of mid completely. But they have good numbers at A, which is what Sponsorless is picking up for. So they actually are pretty well positioned for this. So into round 11, uh, that's going to be Sponsorless trying to force their way into that A bomb site. They're having some good luck so far. Trying to find some more frags. Rush will drop into the bomb site. Hades left inside of it. He'll finally go down. So we have Statues for the Ape and Wabbit left alive on the rotate, trying to work their way into A. It'll be a. Uh, Two versus four in favor of Sponsorless with Naf down to 51, Ricks down to 31, and Wabbit up in hands trying to get something going. Eats the Molotov, hits a shot, but gets triggered up very fast by Rush. So now it's your statutory ape. Doesn't really have a chance into this thing. He's 1v3, and uh, he will end up getting picked up by Ricks, getting a little bit aggressive. And Sponsorless right. is now running away with this half. Seven rounds in their favor. I mean, they're really struggling on the A side of the map in general. I mean, Hades, who's kind of the main A site defender, he's 3-11 and 11 right now. So he's really just kind of getting run over on that site. Uh, they, they've been putting that op towards B a lot. Like, they really haven't put Wabbit with the op anchoring the A site a single time, really. I think there was that one round they were going to, but he got caught doing a run boost, and so he never even really got a crack at it. So that, that could be another thing to try, because we obviously have seen plenty of teams put an op or an A and use it successfully. CLG and Cloud9 both do it in an A. Uh, so, so that... I don't know, man. Like, I'm running out of options for Follow Esports at this point. They're just kind of getting out fragged. They're going to be forced to save yet again. Uh, oh, 80. Oh, not, not bad. But gets goes one. Down. Yeah, gets one before he ends up going down there. They'll leave him out, make it four on four. Ocean is able to pick up two huge frags there with a five seven in his hands. But Nafly has leaked all the way down into Creeper, and he's able to catch Ocean. And I'm making the three on two now, but guns in favor of a sponsorless at the moment, trying to hold on to this B bomb site. They've earned their way in. Well, this double vent thing, though, is going to be kind of weird for Dats when he picks up this bomb. Ooh, yeah, Dats they didn't does actually attack him, No, they don't push. They don't push yeah, I guess on they didn't that. Hear him grab it. So he's able to get the bomb planted here. It will be a two versus three. The, uh, they finally shoot the vents out. They're going to drop their way down to the checkers. It's going to be a three man retake attempt. Flashbang comes in. Nafly going to be playing from box one. Let's see if he's able to pick up the initial creeper player. Tries to find him. Takes a ton of damage. Still going for it. Ends up going down. And Wabbit ends up picking up an op. And he will use that effectively. That'll be fellow esports grabbing themselves a fifth round. Score will be seven to five as we hit round 13. And, and I mean, trying to keep themselves in this game. And that's the kind of rounds you got to like win to give your, your team a spark, so to speak. I mean, you're not necessarily required or you're not ex expected to win those types of rounds. But a round win like that off of an eco can certainly give your team a little bit of a morale boost. And we obviously saw Hades get the initial D kill. Ocean, like you mentioned, had those two key 5-7 frags from heaven. And so literally almost everyone got a piece there from Follow Esports with a pistol to make that work. And now they have the out back in Wabbit's hands. They have, you know, really good utility this time. Everyone has fire and smoke. Uh, so hopefully this will be a better a better look for them. And they will put Wabbit out in mid this time with the out to contest Shazam directly. Shazam is boosted. He may, in fact, peek out into Wabbit's crosshairs here pretty soon. Will not, but he gets forced down with the fire at least. And so SL has been forced to, uh, to slow down a little bit here. Uh, but we know that this A side has been quite successful for Sponsorless on their executes. Uh, and so we have to see. Can Follow Esports hold them off this time? Follow Esports coming from the CT side of things here into round 13, trying to 
bring this within one round. I mean, uh, seven to six is not a bad looking scoreline here with how uh, sponsorless ran away with some rounds, but they're able to keep these rounds close, bring them down to some tight numbers here, not allow either team to have a really solid economy just yet. But I mean, Follow Esports bought a lot of money into this round. Same with Follow or same with sponsorless. They both put a ton of money into it, but sponsorless is definitely looking better at the moment. Yeah, I mean, they're in that one three one setup uh, we were kind of discussing earlier. So it's just going to be pretty quick here towards A. There's already two in the A site, and against can heavy executes. Sponsorless, can it be defended, though? It hasn't been so far, Ooh. and again, Sponsorless should be successful taking it. Yeah, we'll take down Rush and Wabbit inside that bomb site. There goes Ocean to Daps. That's going to be Rush with two. They're going to plant the bomb. They have it safely, and that will force a two-man save out of Statutory Ape and L's. As it will be eight to five now in favor of sponsorless when this round ends, as we hit round fourteen, and sponsorless looking to try and make this at least a ten five half in their favor, or at maximum I should say, at least would be a, a nine six half, but right, ten five yeah. is what they want. Yeah, I mean it's looking like they're on pace to do that too. I mean, one of the main storylines of this half has been the fact that Fallout Esports have not been able to defend that A-bomb site, no matter how they play it. That round, they had three people, basically, on the site when the Execute came in, with the fourth not too far behind, and still, they have yet to be able to, to, to hold that, and they don't save any guns here, either. A flawless victory for Sponsorless, no rebuys required, and it's just been a dominant half from Sponsorless. I mean, if it wasn't for the pistol rounds, this would be much worse. You know, this would be 11-2. to two. Uh, it's just been that dominant from Sponsorless all across the map, really, but mostly on this A side of the map has been where Sponsorless has really dominated with Ricks and Rush especially entering and, and the fact that Hades has really struggled on that side of the map. So now we're into round of 14 here. Uh, follow Esports buying out thoroughly into this round. It's going to be a force by coming out from them. They already lose Wabbit right off the bat, so op out of the way. Ricks has some good mid control at the moment. Els is going to be pressed up in the vents, and he's actually going to throw his Molotov away from the vents, allowing Els to stay alive in there, but they do have a 5-3 to three advantage. Trying to work towards that B-bomb site. Good luck coming from them. Only Hades left alive now as Ocean will go down. But Hades is so weak and Rix is able to pick him up. That's Rix getting himself a 2K. And the final player alive for your CT sided follow esports will be Els. He will go down and that'll make it 9 to 5. So again, final round of the half coming out. And it looks like follow esports, or excuse me, sponsorless wants to make this a 10 5 half. Yeah, I mean, Follow Esports pretty much, you know, put all their money into that last round and again were unsuccessful at holding that A bomb site. Uh, and so because of that, they, they don't have much to work with in this final round. They'll buy what they can, but it just includes a few five sevens and one scout, uh, which is definitely going to play into Sponsorless's hands here, who have really just had uh, their way with the FE ever since the, the first rifle round kicked off. They, they haven't really let up at all except for just a couple of times, so a really big half out of Sponsorless, and they're opening up yet again with a couple of kills here at mid. They've they've been just consistently finding these opening picks at mid and just dominating the A-bomb site. Uh, in, in combination of those two things, they've just been unstoppable. But look at this, FE fighting back. They've got it back into a three-on-three -three somehow. Ooh, trying oh, to make some magic happen, and they're making it right now. We have Statutory Ape, Els, and Wabbit left alive here versus Shazam and Daps. And uh, Shazam and Daps do have the bomb on their back. They're trying to make it inside this bomb site, or more specifically, it would be Shazam with the bomb on his back, trying to make it through the A main garage door. Going against Els with six HP, and we have Wabbit right there in the corner. Wabbit will go down, so now only Els. He tries to drop a flashbang to prevent, but Shazam pushes onto him, takes him down. So we have a two versus one to make this a 10 5 half. Statuary Ape does pick himself up an AK, though. To be able to work all the way up the highway towards that A-bomb site. Bomb planted, timer against him. He does what not the? have to Shazam is scoped in, doesn't see him come up highway. He was scoped in at the truck. Oh, man. The smoke. The smoke. And Statuary Ape tries to spray down taps. Can't do it, though. Ends up going down, and that'll be a 10-5 half in favor of Sponsorless. Right. And, uh, it was looking pretty close there for a little bit, and then uh, Sponsorless ended up running away with quite a few of those rounds. Yeah, I mean, when the first rifle round started around number four, basically, um, yeah, Smiley Youth Sports only found two rounds after that. So after the pistol round, after the anti ecos, the next 12 rounds that were played, they only found two. So that's a pretty dominant showing for sponsors to win, you know, 10 of those 12 rounds, basically. Granted, Smiley Youth Sports economy was pretty much in the dumpster the whole half. Uh, Can we like, talk about, real quick, how amazing Statutory Apes Ready Up is? I didn't see it. 
Ape, 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 ape. Sounds good. Makes sense. <laughs> that is the, the best ready up I've ever seen in my entire life. Reminds me Your of name about ten times. Groot. Groot. Or Groot. Either one. Groot. Um, if you did Groot like ten times, it would be pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I think we pretty much hit the main points of what happened in the first half while we were casting the game, which is pretty much sponsorless having their way with the A-bomb site, having their way with mid-control, always being able to be more efficient with the trades, nearly always getting the opening pick as well. It was just a dominant display from sponsorless fragging-wise where some of the players in Fallout Esports really struggled uh, to hold their spots. or Even the guys who had good numbers were kind of getting them like on save or, like saves and stuff like that towards the end of the round, not really impact frag, so... It was just a dominant display from sponsors for pretty much the that whole point. entire roster. Like yep. Shazam didn't even have to do anything, I and mean, he didn't do poorly. He went six and six, but I mean, it was really just Ricks and Rush and, and company. Mostly Ricks, I guess, just mowing over people. Yeah, Ricks looking really good on the entries, able to make himself have some good. Uh, well, really, really wasn't even entries. It was uh, a lot of flank attempts coming up from uh, right. from Highway, working his way through CT. Oh, look at the counter boost that Ricks gets picked up right off the bat. Pistol round, second half, going huge in favor of Follow Esports. That's going to be a one for two trade in favor of Els as Rush is trying to find himself a secondary one. Brings it he back. Get it. Yeah, now we're three on three here towards the A bombs. A bomb planted coming out, though. So sponsorless at a huge disadvantage here from the CT side of things. Yeah, Rush has spotted one quad, and there's going to be a couple inside the, the squeaky door here, so we'll see if sponsors can penetrate and get something happening. Hades has also now been spotted inside the halls. Rush will just close the door on him and press into quad, but a terror slips through the smoke here, and my goodness, this is getting real awkward real quick right now. But I think they might hold this off. Ooh. Yeah, but Dabs is able to... No, he's not able to pick up one. I thought he had Hades right there. He ends up going down, so follow eSports. We'll grab the initial pistol round out of second half. Give themselves a sixth round here so they could bring this relatively close. They could make this 8 10 very fast off these anti ecos. Yeah, I mean, it all started with boost attempt, just getting sniffed out by elves. He gets two entries basically off of that. And while Rush was able to get a flank and then get it back into a three on three, in the end, it was, uh, you know, follow esports who were able uh, to lock it down in the post plant and secure a victory. So that, that helps them get back into this game. We will see sponsorless upgrade the pistols and get that scout out. So there is still a threat being posed here that, that that FE needs to be concerned with. But if they can get past this one, they should be able to make this an 8-10 game. And and from there, we, we could have a close one on our hands, despite the fact the first half looks so lopsided. So anti-eco here coming out from uh, from follow eSports. All they have to do is hold on, going into the save bombs. They get one. No, actually, they drop one. Excuse me. Nafly is able to take down a Hades. Be a retake attempt coming out here from uh, Sponsorless trying to get themselves into this and they're not able to grab either of those right statutory and ape will hold on or statutory ape and L's will hold on. Uh, they haven't gone down yet. They're just trying to hold this bomb tonight. Statutory ape moves his way into the smoke, jumps out, able to find one, can't find the second one onto Rush. Rush will get himself the scout. Does he get another frag? Looking for it. Smoke is clearing out and the follow esports players will exit through A main. Right. And uh, Rush will hold on to that, uh, excuse me, that scout for the moment, and that will be a 7 to 10 in favor of Follow Esports. Yeah, I'm sure he'll drop that scout to Shazam or something and keep this easy for himself. That's going to be two players for sponsors. You're going to pose some type of threat next round. Uh, but Follow Esports handling it pretty well. Uh, once again, being able to get that A bomb site and push this to a closer score, and a great opportunity here to make it 8 to 10 because Sponsorless really only has, like I said, two guns to work with that could pose some type of uh, worry for Follow Esports, but I'm sure they're feeling just fine. But from here, we just have to see if they can get it going on the gun rounds. Obviously, on CT side, they really struggle on the rifle rounds. Can they make it different on the T side is going to be uh, kind of the, the question that needs to be answered to see if they really can make this comeback happen. So into round at number 18, Follow Esports is trying to get themselves an eighth round. A sponsorless is trying to come back into an eco off of this one. <clears throat> it's going to be a little bit harder for sponsorless, though, to make this eco happen. But they have a huge stack. This? Look at this weird stack <laughs> boost. How is that? Uh, well, no, actually, the third well, one's on top. Stack. Yeah, he's yeah, on the yeah. red. So he's not actually... Uh, 
He got boosted up on the. Well, this one guy's just worked into B and not seen a thing, so they may not even push in there. They're probably gonna rotate this bomb to B since Hades cleared out the entire yeah, site. Yeah, Hades all the way inside the B bomb site at the moment. But bomb, yeah, bomb rotating that direction. They're able to pick up Rush right off the bat. Only one more CT there trying to defend. That's going to be Shazam with the scout. Gets smoked down. He's going to have to rotate. Trying to figure out something to do here. As all the T's will be rotating back in the direction of B at the moment. Hades peeks out on a little wide. Shoulder peek. Knows the scout is there. Goes for a peek again. And uh, continues to tempt fate here. See if he can get hit by the scout. He's just trying to yeah. bait a shot out of Shazam so he can actually yep. press through. But now he just jumps across. But yeah, oh, he's supposed to have this. Oh, Shazam trying to get it. He ends up hitting Hades as he jumps across, but Hades will take him down. So now only Naf Life left alive. Silent USP. They know exactly where he's at. They're going to go on the pinch here. They're not going to let him live. They're, they don't want him to live, even though they know he's only got a silent USP. He's running yeah, around. No Hades is running away. Guy. Hades. Oh, yeah. man. Just barely gets around. They're like, the bro, what are you doing? He's got a. Oh, what? Oh, that story ape kills him. What the heck is that? No. No. You that don't do that, mate. <laughs> what are you doing? Ten of ten on the poor team. guy. Yeah. Well, Hades, guess what? Satchel <laughs> doesn't like you that much, bud. Wow, dude, that is <laughs> that is pretty classy right there. But uh, low uh, impact, but zero. still funny. But here's the rifle round. Let's see if all these works can keep it up. I mean, that round's really just off of Hades being able to kind of probe the B bomb site, realize that the A site was stacked, and make the proper <laughs> adjustment. So, I mean, good to capitalize on that. But this is their first real test. Rifle rounds were definitely their kryptonite in the first half on the CT side, but we'll have to see if they fare better here. Looking like they just want to rush into B. They have Nap completely blind on the balcony, the super exposed spot, and they'll take care of him. That's the other side. We'll have to hold on for dear life while the rotate comes in, but he can't do much. Trying to push in. Oceans is able to grab himself, or Ocean is able to grab a frag. He's able to put the bomb down inside that B bomb site. So initial gun round. So far, at least, going in favor of Follow Esports, who's going to be have that four on three advantage into this thing. Bomb planted, timer ticking down here. Shazam trying to work his way out. That statutory ape is able to pick up a nice frag there on to rush. And Shazam has to rotate away from the Molotov. He will get away for the time being. And it looks like Shazam and Rix will have to go on to the save here. And Rix, he should be able to pick up this frag on the Hades. Hades is going on the hunt. He doesn't want to get away his position. Yeah, he doesn't yeah, want to get away his position. He's not going to aggress this. All he's going to try and do is slip up maybe behind him and try and take that. No. He's just going to stay alive. Finds one. Able to take that down. Will live for the time being. And that will be uh, Follow yeah, Esports but... picking up another round. Yeah, and only one rifle saved because Shazam did get caught over on the A side of the map. Uh, but it is Follow Esports looking to tie this thing up. And they're going to have a great chance to do it since Spawns is just pretty much full saving this round. Except for that one M4 that Rix was able to retain in a couple of upgraded pistols. So this is voting really well for Follow Esports after having a really tough first half. To still, you know, you know, dig down and, and find something that works for him here on the T side thus far. Wabbit getting the opening pick on Shazam as well there. So a good start. As it looks like the remaining members are really heading more towards this B side of the map. Now Dak is in kind of a little ninja here if they don't check the corner maybe he can you know surprise somebody and come up with a couple of cool frags but other than that if he should be able to close this this round out to tie it up who rick's able to open that thing up taking down ocean so that's a good opener there as we lose shazam also but dabs get spotted on the corner he's able to hit one initially before he goes down so one for one trade thanks to an eco is going to be huge here for a sponsor list but follow esports Looking poised to try and make this at 10 to 10 until Rix does that. Drops the palm down, drops a uh, statutory ape trying to spray for another one. Sponsorless in trouble into this round. But I mean, Follow Esports still has two players left alive. They will get a bomb plant. Wabbit trying to find this shot. Oh, oh good job by Nafli. That out. Faded out by Nafli, but Nafli stays alive into it. Rabbit ends up uh, ends up changing guns, tries to get the drop onto Rix, but Rix a little too fast. So just like that, sponsor list will come oh, back no. into it, make it 11 to 9 and stop the hemorrhaging. And that's the kind of rounds that you got to close out if you're a fellow esports, if you really want to make it easy on yourself trying to make the comeback. I mean, you had sponsor list pretty much on a full save there, short of the 1 in 4 Rick's habit. Rick's made that M4 count with three frags. Not only that, but Nath did a good job baiting out Wabbit's op shot so his teammate Vince could drop down and catch him and put him into a 3v1 retake. So uh, really just good plays from both those players there to hold off the tie. You know, now they keep the lead. They're up 11-9. They have follow esports money pretty low. It's not going to lead to a save this round, but it's 
Sponsorless can take this one. They will, in fact, force Valley Esports into a save, yet they have to worry about their own economy being reset. They just won a round. They had to do a lot of rebuying, so they're also quite low. So whoever loses this round is saving, and that this is a, a critical moment in the game to be forced to take a save next round, especially if you're Valley Esports when you're trying to make the comeback, and you, you were just there, and now it slipped out away again. But here comes a real fast day hit. Trying to work the way out. Rush is right there defending. Gets two from the forklift. See if if he's going to make something happen here. Hades, last one left. He ends up going down. That's going to be sponsorless grabbing themselves a 12th round. So a quick A hit coming out from Follow Esports does not yield anything yep. but a round loss. And their economy is getting close to in the dumps here. So let's see if they force into this or yeah, just try to eke out their way through. I mean, to be fair, it didn't seem like Follow Esports were on the same page when the A hit. Like, you kind of had the guy squeaky door not able to support the A main push at all. So Rush able to get kind of some 1v1s at the forklift. Won both those 1v1s for two frags. Well done. Then Shazam staying hit inside the site the whole time, able to find a couple frags for himself as well. So well held there by Sponsorless. They have forced to save basically out of Follow Esports. So a chance to keep increasing this lead as we do again see Follow Esports heading towards A. Shazam kind of aware of this, going to throw down some counter nades and get the rotate in. But he's full blind there, pushing him hard. Oh, oh the Shazam! Yeah, almost got him. Looking very close into that one, but Follow Esports does get a ball plant. They haven't gone down yet. Haven't dropped a single player. Rotate's coming in. Daps will get himself one. Nathly, same with Rix. And uh, Stat Shore Amps going to be the last player left alive. He's trying to work his way behind. Who was that right there? I believe it was Dabs or Ricks that he was trying to get behind, but didn't get behind any of them. Ends up going down. Sponsorless will grab themselves a 13th round, but on an eco, Follow Esports will get themselves a bomb plant, which is going to yield right. well for them. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they're going to get a full comfortable buy in this round. That's definitely important, but this will probably be their last real comfortable buy if they can't come with a victory here. Because sure, they, they could force something out next round with the four-round loss bonus, but it, they wouldn't have the op. They wouldn't have as much utility as they wanted. So this is kind of their, their last big round to, to have you know all the items they'd want to, to work with and try to secure a round. Yeah, and Sponsorless is already back to scoring some rounds. They've won the last three in a row. I mean, Rich is almost at a 30 bomb. He's had quite the game, uh, but he does get caught right off the bat there. You know, trying to play aggressive on Squeaky Door, and 80's yeah, catches both those two. skills. Yeah, that yeah. was really big to counter that aggression, and now they have an open A bomb site. Yeah, it's huge. Hades making that happen here, because this looks like a round, or one of the rounds that Sponsorless could gain control of map number one, as if they don't already have it, but they need to hold on here. Let's see. Follow Esports still trying to work their way in. Oh, Shazam misses the initial shot. Ocean will bunny hop his way right around the corner, though, able to get this plant off. Molotov's not affecting him yet. He's able to bounce backwards, but half -Life finally picks him up and rush all the way into this bomb site. He's going to push towards Quad. Can he get statutory? And he will. Oh, no one's so in position. They can defuse this. Wow, yeah, Shazam, great position. He could get the defuse off here. All Nathfly has to do is distract, yep. and yep, Shazam gets the defuse. So all that money they spent into that round means absolutely nothing. Sponsorless yep. gets 14 in their name. 14 to 9 as we hit round 24. And that's now the second time this half where Follow Esports really should have won a round that they wound up letting go. Like they lost an eco round the sponsors at B a few rounds ago. And then that round, they get the opening two picks because Hades counters the, the, the squeaky door push really well. They get in, they get a bomb plant. They have a five on three, yet they still lose that post plant hole. That's really, the, the, I think that's going to be the two key rounds that you'll look back on as to why Follow Esports didn't make yep. the comeback. Uh, if, in fact, if this kind of, you know, holds the course and sponsors just eventually closes this out, at least. I do like how much we're seeing from Follow Esports. We were following Wabbit for there for a second. They're trying to bait those off shots out. They know they're coming. Uh, I, I do like the bait attempts, but they don't really have anyone to peek off that. So a shot fires off, you bait it out. The only person able to bait off that one or able to capitalize on the fact that he just missed a shot would be the player trying to bait. But he's trying to jump back around the corner. And uh, it just doesn't really work out that well. If you have a secondary player there ready to roll off of that initial uh, that initial peak, it works out so much better. But we right. still haven't seen that come out yet. I mean, Wabbit's but trying to jump and trying to jump and trying to jump and pull out that off shot from Shazam. But if no one's there to capitalize on that thing, it's just kind of a, a right. wasted opportunity and a chance to they... get hit by an op and die. Yeah, but they did get the smoke out, so they're able to get in, but Shazam does spot Labyrinth through the defense, so he kind of knows what's going on. Nath hidden behind the box. He will go unchecked, and he will find two frags because of it. 
and that might be one of the final nails in the coffin here. It's not clear in that box. It's going to lead to a lot of members going down. And now look at this. Hades all alone. He was Oof. just there to cut off rotates. Now he has to be the hero. Yep. Went the round one before, and I don't see it happening. Yeah, there are no worries that he's able to hit the initial one out of the vents into the checker room, but Nafly takes him down. Spodulus is now at map point on map number one. We are 15 to 9 in favor of Spodulus here. And uh, they're looking poised to win this thing off, off right. a very, very broken buy coming out from Follow Esports. I mean, they're buying up what they can, right? But they, like I said, they, that last comfortable buy that they had, they didn't come up with it. And since then, it's just been a little bit easier on Sponsorless, given the firepower advantages they've had you know, the last couple of rounds here. And, and this could be it, you know, to be honest. Follow Esports have really struggled. They've lost the last five in a row. They had a good opening, but since then, they haven't been able to get past the defense of Sponsorless. And now Rush, look at him playing an aggressive position up on A main. Uh, they're going to try to do the fast A split yet again with Hayes setting up that smoke out the door, but can they actually take the site? Something they haven't done in a while. Oh, they do catch Rush. So that's a good start. And Ooh. they catch the rotate from Rick. Yeah. That's big. This is another is five on three. Huge, huge opener coming out from those guys. Or those guys being follow esports, excuse me. And uh, they are able to get the bomb planted, but they got to be careful there. Shazam on the rotate. Same with Daps and Nafly. And Shazam's able to pick up one. Same with Nafly. Can they trade it out? Yes, Daps is able to take down Ocean. There goes Century 48. But it's all up to Wabbit. It was an A main. He peeks out a little too wide, and that will be map number one in favor of Sponsorless. They get the easy defuse coming out, and what a huge retake coming out from Sponsorless there on map number one. They're bringing home 16 to 9 over Follow Esports. Yeah, I mean, good retakes there from. from uh Sponsorless a couple of different times that half, but that's again another 5v3 uh, that, that Follow Esports had. They couldn't close at a critical moment in the game when you're trying to tie it up. And so, yeah, there was like three really key rounds at half. Losing the two 5v3s yeah. were big, losing that eco at B was big, and those are probably the three key rounds, right? But to give credit where credit is due, Sponsorless played well. I mean, Rick's almost dropped the 30. There's two other guys that were in the 20s there for Sponsorless as well. So they certainly performed and played up to par on uh, what you'd hope out of them given their talent. So, uh, yeah, a pretty dominant map one there from Sponsorless when it was all said and done. But now we're going to move on to Dust 2 to see if Follow Esports can at least get a tie out of this. I mean, again, ties. Still very important. They still give you a point. They still limit the amount of points your opponent's going to get for the standings as well. Uh, so it definitely can still help you out in the long run if they're able to, you know, kind of gather themselves up here, let that map go, you know, realize it's done and over with, and just try to focus here on Dust 2 and see if they yeah. can still score a point. And what you guys were just looking at, if not still taking a peek at it, was your alpha draft uh, box score between map number one, Follow Esports versus Sponsor List. You could take a head-to-head -head matchup look between these two teams, break down player-to-player-wise. Again, thanks to you guys, brought to us by Alpha Draft. There's going to be, a, if you take a peek at that, that kill-to-death ratio in favor of Ricks was gigantic. I mean, 29 and 15, followed by Daps at 20 and 14, 25 and 13 for NAF. 17 and 18 for Rush, Shazam 11 and 13. Not too impactful coming from two of the players that we should some big impacts from. But, I mean, Nafly and Rick's doing their job, picking up huge right. frags there. Big multi-kill multi rounds coming from those guys. And, I mean, just everything was falling in their favor. They were shooting well. They were just straight up outwinning the aim battles between Follow Esports, right. which is super detrimental for uh, Follow Esports. They wanted to win that game, but they just could not win the trade-out battles. When you have somebody like Rix and Nafly on your team, they're winning the trades. I mean, they're going one for two like right. every time they die. It was Yeah, I mean, when you look huge. at that. When you look at that first half, I mean, Sponsors comes with 10 rounds on the T side. They went 10 of the last 12 rounds for pretty much all the rifle rounds, including some situations where Folly Sports had the eco, of course, but they yes. were just still really dominant on all those rifle round exchanges there on the T side. You saw a little bit of a comeback effort from Folly Sports on the second half when they won Pistol and they won the opening gun round. They were trying to make the comeback, but then, I mean, Sponsors just turned it on the high gear. And it was really just some mistakes for Folly Sports. Losing some big five on threes, that was big. Losing an eco, that was big, but also the sponsorless retaking and shooting very effectively to close out that game but now yeah. we are going to take just a quick break but when we come back we are going to have dust too to see if sponsors will get the w or if esports can hope for the tie